Hey everybody, this is T. Ray with H10 Hanshin Tigers English News. Live from Japan, right in front of a crossing at the railway. That's right, the Hanshin Railway. And that's the reason that I am here is because some of you are from America, are in America, have not been to Japan and maybe do not know what this country is all about. Well, this here is the Hanshin Railway and there's gonna be a Hanshin train going by in just a little bit, so you get to experience the magic. Anyways, um, so I live in this general area and I sometimes ride the Hanshin trains depending on where I need to go. If you wanna to go to Koshien, guess what you gotta ride? That's right, Hanshin will take your money at the ballpark and to and from, here we go. So how'd you like that? Anyways, um, yeah, that is what it's all about. We ride the trains, they take our money on the trains, we go to the stadium, they take our money for tickets, they take our money for merchandise, they take our money for beer, and they get rich, and we keep following these Hanshin Tigers because we love them so much. Let me explain a little bit on today's special vodcast about how I became a Hanshin Tigers fan and why I do what I do. So we're going to take you way back, all the way to the start, to when I was a kid. And I really liked playing sports a lot. Unfortunately, I was not very good at sports. And so I never made the team, or I was never a star. I didn't get the playing time. I rode the pine. That's the kind of guy I was. And I also didn't enjoy that. And so I gave up. I quit playing sports at a fairly young age because I saw that there was no future in it for me. And it's just not fun. It's not fun being on the bench all the time. So. Right around the sixth grade, I realized that I had kind of had the gift of gab. I had the gift of writing. I really liked analyzing sports, and so I started to dream of being a play-by-play -play color announcer, probably because I'm Canadian, for the Winnipeg Jets, my hometown hockey team, my favorite sport. Uh, as fate would have it, though, in my first year of university, I realized that journalism is a real cutthroat profession, and if you want to be the best, if you want to get the scoop, it's got to be at other people's expenses and as you know from my lack of competitive nature when it comes to playing sports I was the same way when it came to being in the field of journalism I was like if I have to cut other people's throats to get what I want I'd rather leave them alive and I would rather remain alive and so I dropped that dream I also lost a scholarship for journalism school and so I ended up then getting into the education field so I dropped my dream of being a journalist and I came over to Japan as a teacher thinking I would be here for a couple of years and then I would head back to good old Canada and become a teacher and settle down and be a happy uh, snowman. That did not work out for me, not in a bad way, but I decided that I really liked Japan and I wanted to stay. So I was in Okinawa for a good number of years. I really love life in Okinawa. It's very relaxed. People are very nice. It's just good times. But uh, after a while, I really felt like it was time to make a move. I moved up to Hokkaido. Uh, once I got out of Okinawa, I realized that Japan is not all it's cracked up to be, and I was not really sure what I wanted to do with my life anymore. But um, I met a special someone, and she happened to be from Kobe, and so I ended up moving down to Kobe to be with her. And while I was down here, I kind of hit this midlife crisis. Truth be told, I did not want to be a teacher anymore. I was tired of playing this game of trying to get Japanese people to learn English, a language that they pretend that they like, but they don't really like. So I needed something to relieve myself of all the stress. And what better than sports? Well, you know, I was following Major League Baseball and I was following some hockey at that time. We got some people coming through. Um, and I decided that instead of doing Major League Baseball where everybody in America might care, but nobody in Japan cares as much as they care about Japanese pro ball. And up until this point, I had really never given Japanese pro ball a chance. And so when I was um, in my second year, pardon me, my third year at this job that I was at, I decided it was time to have my midlife crisis to go back into trying to become a de facto sports journalist. And so I started to follow the Hanshin Tigers more out of curiosity of what I could make of it than actually loving the team. Uh, so for the first little while I was just gathering information. I was 
learning about the players and I knew that they had some foreigners on the team like Matt Merton, Randy Messenger, Mauro Gomez and Sing Juan Ho, oh, Sing Juan Oh, pardon me, who just signed, just got traded to the Colorado Rockies. Anyways, um, and I was just kind of getting to know them a little bit as players, not personally of course, and then I started to build up the uh, blog and then I went to a game and I realized that I actually enjoyed the Tigers. I actually love the atmosphere at Kosien. I like going to games and I just kind of dove in head first around the start of 2015, I decided I was gonna get serious about things. And so I started to write more. I started to dig more for more information to learn more about the team and about the players that were currently on the team. By the end of 2015, I realized that knowing just the team was one thing, but I kind of wanted to know a little bit more about the team's history too. So in 2016, it was kind of my project to learn about the team and its fine history. Well, fine would be one way of putting it. Anyhow, I did. I studied, I learned, I liked the team even more after I learned about their history because it's quite an interesting one. And so that was that. Uh, I just kept going, kept going. I managed to meet some players, I managed to talk to some players, I managed to get some little gigs here and there, get a little bit of quote unquote fame, although it's not like huge, but just, you know, get a couple of baseball related part time jobs. And here I am now making a video for you. And here comes another train. For you to enjoy. I think it's coming in slow because it's stopping at this station. So there you have it. That's my story of how I became a Hanshin Tigers blogger, websiter, podcaster, and soon to be a Hanshin Tigers teacher as a matter of fact. I'm going to be teaching an English course entirely entirely centered on the Hanshin Tigers. That is gonna be the theme of the class. So it's gonna be a pretty fun one. I'm gonna be starting in the fall. Anyhow, um, if I haven't mentioned it yet, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for, uh, yeah, just following H10 and following the Hanshin Tigers. And hopefully 2018 is going to get better as of tonight, I hope. And if not, then, well, let's keep cheering for them because they're still the Hanshin Tigers. They are still this country's team. No, not the Omri Giants. It's us. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. So I will catch you guys in a month with a different report. See ya.